country which is known for its barbaric policies is again in the news for the wrong reasons. North Korea kick-started the new year with its consecutive missile testing. The Kim Jong-un-led nation once again defied the UN's order of testing ballistic and nuclear weapons. In a bid to upgrade its missile arsenal, North Korea fires second hypersonic missile which successfully hits its target. Pursuing new military capabilities amid stalled denuclearization talks, Pyongyang claims that its second such test within two days. The previous one was fired on January 5th. North Korea had first tested a hypersonic missile in September 2021. The New Age Elite weaponry flies out at a low altitude, moves faster than five times the speed of the sound, moves closer to the Earth's surface, effective against all known anti-missile defense system. According to Korean state agencies, North Korea's latest hypersonic missile is capable of multi-step glide jump flight. The consecutive tests come amid Kim Jong-un's earlier vow to bolster Pyongyang's defences. Japan, South Korea and the United States, all these governments criticised North Korea for firing consecutive missile tests. While North Korea is pursuing new military capabilities, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken condemned missile testing while on a telephonic conversation with Japanese Minister Yoshima Yashi. As North Korea is on a weapon testing spree, Blinken stressed on denuclearization of the peninsula. The latest test came just hours before South Korean President Moon Jae-in attended rail line groundbreaking ceremony. Moon Jae-in was hoping to make a breakthrough with North Korea before his five-year tenure comes to an end. With successfully testing hypersonic missile, American authorities fear that North Korea would perfect its nuclear abilities. <laughs>